how to create a uh, create stationery in outlook okay you can create your own stationery and save it and you can use as a by default stationery uh, in outlook so in outlook guys there is a uh, by uh, there is a stationeries uh, uh, you know list you can select from there or you can say themes so i will show in this video how you can select the existing stationery or how you can create your own stationery by default so in this video tutorial so we, uh, we are going to learn about so let's start with the video guys before starting i request you for like this video hit the like button subscribe my channel and don't forget comments below so okay so i just open outlook let me open outlook here okay so this is my outlook guys if i click on new email you can see this is my uh, themes which I selected from settings. So I show you first how you can select it, and then I will show you how you can create your own dictionary. So if I go to the file and the option under the mail, you able to see here the use dictionary and change default font style colors. Click on it, and the theme section. You can click on it, and you can select the your themes. Okay. So if you click on setting, you can see the option. You know these themes, and there is a lots of themes you can use so if i use these themes so it will be uh, by my uh, it will be my uh, uh, you know uh, by default themes if i click your okay 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 and now if i click on new email you can see this is my by default themes but i i want to create my own dictionary and it will be uh, it uh, has to be by default so what you need to do there is a one setting you have to ch change or make so let's start first you have to go again there option click on mail and click on dictionary and sorry click on the dictionary and fonts go to the themes and click on no themes first okay so because we are going to customize our own dictionary now if you click on new mail there is a no dictionary now you can select the option and go to the page color and you can select the any color from here you can type the your signature anything you want you can change color okay this is not font color so here is a font color this font okay and if you close uh, this is a font color you can change okay you you can insert anything you can make changes like you can change the subscribe uh, my I just type sample text here you can just select the text and you can change the font you can change the size also you can make bold anything okay just make changes whatever you want from here you can insert link anything you can see insert the links and, and all so uh, links is a uh, not uh, okay links are another part but you can change your own dictionary just change the color and all you can change from here you can change the your signature you can make the by default signature here now what you need to do you have to just save it go to the save and save as okay now here come to the C option under C go to the user under user go to the your username and from here you have to uh, okay okay come here and type app data okay let's go to the app data okay don't search here come to the your window type run and type here app data then this will be open now go to the roaming then select the microsoft you have to find the stationery okay now just copy this link come to the outlook and paste here this link uh, means path your um, you know uh, folder path and just hit the enter now here you can save your own stationery you can rename anything i just type own stationery and you have to save this file as html just save it after save now there is a one uh, step you have to take go to the outlook again just close this and come to back to the outlook go to the option go to the mail again and uh, click on your station and change default again 
go to the themes and here you have to find out this saved uh, dictionary so this is I think my page my own what why what was the name I just forgot my page color dictionary my page okay this one I just save own dictionary just select this and just click on ok ok make it default now if I click again for new mail you can see this dictionary has been created by default okay so that is how you can create your own dictionary as uh, use as a by default I hope you like this video please subscribe and thank you for watching